Hey guys, so I've had an animated camera frame on my stream now for about 10 months or so, give or take. It's one of my favorite things about my whole design, actually. I'm constantly changing my design, trying to figure out new things that I like, tweaking things, all this sort of stuff. But the animated camera frame that I made has stayed in my design for 10 months, which is probably the longest anything has stayed in my design. So, you know I like it. <laughs> and I think you're really gonna like it too. Now, of course, I'd be lying if I said I was the first one to ever make a design like this. My design actually was um, inspired by Dr. Lupo's camera frame. I love the subtle color changes as it like as his camera frame rotated around, you know, and I wanted to incorporate something like that into my own overlays. Speaking of which, I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bbgun. I'll put a link down in the description below, so you can go give me a follow on there, catch a live stream sometime. I like to play video games on there mostly, but occasionally I will do some emote drawing or some graphic design work on stream as well. So I've been wrestling with the idea of posting a video like this for a while now. It was actually the very first free design. I don't know why I did quotes. It is free. Anyway. It's the first free design video that I actually thought about ever making, and for some reason, I just put it off. Don't know why, but I'm making it now. So I've actually made two different variations of this design, and I'm gonna go over a quick tutorial for each later on in the video, but I just wanna kinda show you them right now. The first design, as I'm showing right now around this video, is a constant gradient overlay that just rotates around the frame, okay? It's constant velocity, colors stay exactly the same size, everything. The second design is a little more of a dynamic design. I wanted to have a little more variation in the size of the color change and the speed at which it moves around the frame. I like the more dynamic design myself for my own stream, but I love both these designs and will be providing multiple variations for you to download and use for free. I'll put a link down in the description below for you to download all of these designs. All right, so let's start with the first design. So I started out by making a composition that was 1920 by 1080 pixels. 60 frames a second, might be a little overkill, but it's fine. It, the file size ended up being small enough, so. And the duration to eight seconds. So I started off by making a circle. Um, you can, you go up here, ellipse tool, click and drag while holding shift. That'll make it a perfect circle. Okay, let's align it to center here. Set the stroke to none. And the fill, if you do alt click, it changes it to a gradient. So I already have the colors here that I wanted. And then just size this up to where it covers the entire composition so that once you add a rotation to it, none of the corners will be cut off. Now I already had that in here, so I'm gonna actually delete this and then just turn this on. So this is my circle here. And then what you do is you just add a rectangle on top. I set the fill to no fill and the stroke to white at 35 pixels wide. Now the reason that I made it 35 pixels is I just kind of eyeballed it when it was smaller to make sure that the border would still be wide enough to see once you scale this down for a gameplay screen. Now how you get the gradient over the shape of the camera frame only on the shape layer that is the gradient circle, add a track mat to alpha mat. Getting the colors to rotate around the frame is just the simple matter of setting your circle to rotate from zero degrees at the start to 360 degrees at the end of the composition. So that's all I did there, just does a full 360 degree turn. So if you play it, it just loops around, takes eight seconds to complete the circle, and you've got a nice gradual gradient overlay. I have this design available in 11 different color variations right now. I'm just gonna show them up on the screen here for a little bit so you can decide which one you want. They're all available to download for free. Again, I'll put a link down in the description below. Please leave a comment down below if there's a specific color variation you would like to see, or you could always message me on Discord. I have a free designs channel on my Discord where you can see every single free design that I have made for you guys. And any updates that are made to these designs, as in more color variations, etc., will be posted in that Discord channel as well. Now for the second design. So this is a similar concept to the first design, 
All I did was I added a rectangle with a full 1920 by 1080 pixels. I made it this dark blue color to match my colors on my stream. And then I copied it, pasted it, changed the color to a lighter blue, then added a radial wipe to it. I played around with these settings a little bit. Um, I ended up liking it at transition complete of 80%. Feather of 300, and for some of them, I ended up changing the opacity of the top color just a little bit, but for this one, it's at 100%. The key thing about this one is to change the start angle of the top lighter color. So the radial wipe start angle. You're gonna start it at zero and then all the way to a full 360 degrees at the end of the composition. I actually shortened the composition of this one to only six seconds just because I felt like it looked better with the timing of the colors going around the camera frame since it varies in size and speed. This dynamic design is only available in five colors right now. I'm gonna put those up on the screen for you to see what they all look like and you can decide which one you would like to use. They're all available to you for free as well. I'll put a link down in the description below for the download link for these. I'll put them in a separate file than the first design just so you can kind of know what you're downloading, okay? And again, please feel free to leave a comment or message me on Discord if there's a specific color variation you would like to see. Disclaimer though, if for some reason this video blows up and I get a ton of requests for specific colors, I might have to limit how many I actually provide. I'm sorry. If that happens though, I will update the description of this video to tell you that requests are closed. I hope you all enjoyed this video and like this design. If you do, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and Subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when I post more videos including more free designs for you guys to use on your streams I'm actually working on another free alert design right now. Um, I'm not sure which video is gonna go live first actually Probably this one But look out for that and I'm going to be adding another animated camera frame video here shortly as well Just a quick modified design for something that I think you, a lot of you might like a lot. So be sure to keep an eye out for both of those. Again, just a reminder, I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bbgun. You can also follow me on Twitter at itsbbgun and Instagram at itsbbgun. I'll put links to all of those down in the description below. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.